It was a moment of joy for the family of Mohamed Ogo in Ikuehi Ihima, Okehi local government area of Kogi Central, Kogi State, and the family of Kokuda of Aniocha North local government area of Delta State, as their children Sherifat and Godwin were joined as husband and wife in a traditional marriage. Sherifat Onono and Ebera Lady hoped to Godwin Chinedu from an Igbo community in Delta State as her husband. It was a moment to remember as MLC TV was at Ikuehi, the Bright Father's compound in Ihima, Okehi local government area, to witness all stages just to bring the beautiful scene of a proper Ibera traditional way of marriage in Kogi Central. Let us join our reporter for more. The union of Sharifat and Godwin is better described as an intertribal and interstate marriage which is held towards fostering unity and maintaining peace with the people of different cultures. The wife, Sharifat Onono Muhammad, is from Okehi local government of Kogi Central, a Bira speaking part of Kogi State, and the husband, Godwin Chenedu Kokuda, is from Anocha local government area, an Igbo speaking part of Delta State, both joined together as husband and wife. At Muhammad Ogu's house, the families of both the bride and groom, well wishes across the two states, Delta and Kogi, were present. <laughs> The formal introduction was made followed by the payment of dowry that symbolizes that the groom has all the rights over his bride. More than other weddings, the traditional way of marriage is approved in Kogi Central to be the most appropriate way of marriage without questioning from both families who share different religions. So that you sound this warning to you that this, our daughter, she's, she was, we didn't sell it to you people. So, it's not for sale. We didn't sell it to you people. So as we are returning this money back to you, when next we see our daughter, we want to see a very great improvement in her. Eh? Taking good care of her, more freshness, looking nice, looking good. So we want to see her shining and glowing always. So we are, we are returning this to you. Our fathers are returning this 5,000 era to you that as our custom demands and how we do it from the bright price that you pay. So we are taking this back to you people. So we hand it over to our daughter, then she will give it to you. After the exchange of gifts and dowry, the breaking of cola was performed by the most elderly from the family of the bride. <laughs> that God will grant her peace in her husband. Amen. The joy is overwhelming as the family of Kokuda finally married Sherifat Onono from the family of Mohammed Ogu for their son, Godwin Chinedu, to be his wife. And they both moved to the reception within the compound where the newly married caught the cake and danced to the glory of God. My brother, you will carry your wife without for your leg. They give up the house. Come on, wait there. 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 Come on,
Both families gave words of encouragement to the couples and advised them on building their relationship without a third party. They also prayed for them. And we are happy for her, the whole of the family. We are so happy. And I personally am wishing her a happy married life. I wish her long life and prosperity. God will bless her with children. God will bless her with wealth. God will bless her with good health. God be bless her with love, life, and prosperity. She's not just a sister to me. She's my friend. We grew up together. We fight together. We play together. We pray together. So I wish her all the best in her life. This is my daughter. I only got no. All the time. I only have the heart. I have the heart. She's not the best. She's not the best. And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. For God, tolerance is the answer. Marriage is beyond just coming together to a and a wife. You need to be tolerant, just like our Father has said. Love, understanding. Understanding is crown of it all. If you love your husband, love at the point if you fade away. Please understand your wife. Wife, understand your husband. And God will bless your home. Don't allow third party in your midst. If you don't allow third party, you grow and work stronger and stronger, and your children will surround you in love. We are brothers. So anything we do, we do together. And it's a very nice person, very calm person, and good to be with. It's peace to reign in their home. But as we are joined together, there will be nothing but divorce. The mother of the bride could not hold back her joy that her first daughter is married. She urged them to stick to one another in love and understanding, wishing them the very best as couples. For the couples, it's a journey of life and they are happy about it. They spoke. Work on your dreams and still achieve. You don't have to wait and make money before you do. A lot of people will die in this. Most of the guys in this. Different groups of association were cited performing prayers and dancing.
atmosphere was also filled with mixed feeling as the mother of the bride and family shared tears because they missed the presence of the bride's late father, Mohammed, popularly called Major. We pray for the departed so to continue to rest in peace. Amen. From the entire MLC TV, we wish Sherifat and Godwin happy married life. For many who do not know, Sherifat is a pioneer staff of Bevan Communications Limited, owner of Malakai TV as MLC TV and Sharon Radio. She was one of our newscasters before her marriage.